Method Guru channel. And uh, on this video, we're going to show you how to do a, a good optimized leveling with the artillery sidewinder. Now, this can be done with all sorts of different printers, uh, your typical desktop models. The sidewinder is one that we use a lot here in the lab, and uh, getting it level is super, super crucial. Step one in the process, of course, make sure your, your bed is clean. Step two is go ahead and preheat the bed and the extruder. So I'm going to do that real quickly now. And I'm going to set the extruder up to around uh, 210, which is typical temperature for a lot of materials. And I'm going to set the bed up to around 80 degrees Celsius. And once this actually reaches temperature, then we'll start the process. So here we go. Tools, heat, and add, extruder, there. And then back. So before we get started, a couple of things that we'll point out in terms of uh, good functionality. We oftentimes mark on the printer which direction raises and lowers the build plate so that you don't forget when you're in this process because sometimes it's really easy to turn the wrong way and have it go lower when you meant for it to go higher. So um, chalk markers work great on this to basically guide you time and time again. Okay, it looks like we are really close. Yep, we've hit our uh, preheat temperatures. And so at this point in time, I would take a pair of snips and I would snip off any excess filament that might be dripping out of the printer head, the extruder. And then I'm going to go to the tools menu with whatever printer you're using and choose the leveling option. Now, this one comes with one, so it's pretty easy. I hit the first button. And what we're gonna do versus any other uh, living routines, we're really gonna focus on how tight this pulls against the paper. Right now, I'm really feeling a very, very strong tug. In fact, actually, you know, I'm wanting to use two hands to shift it back and forth. I can't even push the paper through. That's a good level of firmness. That's what we're after. Go to the other side. Yeah, very tight. You can just barely pull this through using two hands. Third. Once again, yep, I can feel a lot of tension here, which is what I'm after. Fourth. And the fourth one actually is just a little bit too loose. You see that movement there? That's a little bit too loose for me. So I'm going to rotate the knob just a little bit. Pull it tighten up just a little bit more. Still. And I do very, very small turns too. You don't want to overturn when you actually Tighten or loosen the knob. There we go, that's good. And fifth, right there in the center. And, oh yeah, that's just barely able to move it without tearing the paper, that's what I'm wanting. Do one more round. Yep, still very tight and good. This one. That might be a tad too tight. I'm gonna lower it just one little bit. Third, also maybe a little bit too tight, lower just a bit, back to fourth, and maybe a little bit tighter there, yeah, and fifth in the center, which is where generally people like to print a lot of materials from anyway, and that's good. So at this point in time, I'll go ahead and make sure that I get my extruder off the object, and also, or off the build plate and also go back and make sure that I turn off my preheat. Uh, you hit the close button on the preheat and actually make it go off so that you're nice and safe and your printer is cooling back down. Uh, I have to make sure that I do, be careful with the uh, sidewinder. Sometimes you have to hit the, tell it to close both the extruder option and the bed option as well to make sure they're both uh, set to zero. And you can always tell that by reading whether or not zero is set to the right side of the temperature. At this point in time, that should be it. Again, you're wanting a very, very firm pull resistance when you're actually doing your leveling, and you went all the way across the board. And you do very, very small turns. You don't do large twists of the actual levelers, very, very small increments, and you do this two or three times as you go through. We already had this one kind of dialed in, so it, it was pretty fast. So that's uh, the leveling process. Again, Sidewinder, but you can do it with other printers just the same way you want a really, really tough uh, pull with the paper, but not so much that it actually tears the paper. 
All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it's helpful. We'll see you.